all right guys so welcome hi so um so this video is all about uh cron tab okay so when i wanted to do the cron tab um i wasn't able to it, the cron tab was not working for me in wsl okay so let's check again so if you have seen the pictures okay, cron tab hyphen e this is how we open the cron tab right so if you if you open this all right so I have got three, basically three cron tabs, which I have set it, right? So in this case, I'm going to exit now. I'll just show you the backup.sh, all right? So let me open that. So the PWD, the current working directory is home, group, and backup, right? So, so I can do cat cron tab. Or else more cron tab. All right, that's not working. No problem. Um, let me show you what is there in that backup load message. Right. So if you can see, um, so this is basically the location where uh, I have got mk backup dot logs. I'll show you, show you that also. Ls hyphen l. So I have got mk backup dot log, right? So let me clear the content of uh, uh, mk backup, all right? Basically, mm. I'm just putting. Right? So basically, this would have cleared the content of uh, mk backup. See, there is nothing in this. But I have just put an empty thing. Okay, so we don't have anything there, and uh, yeah. So let me. I was explaining this bash script, right? So what is there in the script? Okay, the first line. This is how we initialize the bash script, right? And uh, this is the location, and uh, so this is what we are actually. These are all the commands that we are trying to do with the script that we are. There are the script will run these commands. What is it? The first thing is uh, starting backup automatically. It's just gonna print it, uh, add this line to the file. Then it's gonna add the date, and then it says like backup is completed. And then we put this string so make it just just to uh, differentiate the every every backup. All right. So this is what is present in the script. Okay. So cron tab hyphen e. If I go there, see for every uh, so this is basically what this will do is it will run at every minute right so the first thing is basically representing as the minute um so that's okay so you can just search for this what these stars represent right so here is also it's given see minute for every minute and every hour which day or day you want and then the month so basically can be which month in the like 1 to 12 is there right we can do that and the day of the week also we can give so first day second day third day likewise all right you need to give all these are numbers okay one to so minute means one to 60 hours is tw one to 24 uh day day of month is going to be like one to 31 and this is basically uh again month right huh this is going to be one to 12 Right, day of month is 1 to 31, and this is 1 to 12, and this day of the week is 1 to 7. All right, so star in this for any or any ash. All right, so any for anything that's okay, right? Okay, coming back here, whatever is whatever the script we have added the cron, and uh, this will execute the script at every every sec every minute. Okay, so I'm just exiting this, All right? It's supposed to work. So, but the thing is, see, no modification made. But the thing is, um, if I do cat mk backup.log, nothing is coming up. So the cron is already there, but still it's not working. Why? So there is this command which you need to do uh, to check sudo service cron status. All right. So if you do this, so it's saying that cron is not running. So see in WSL, uh, it won't run by automatically. 
So what we can do is the same command. You can just do restart. Or let's try start first. If I'm just just gonna test it. If it doesn't work, it's restart will work. Yeah. See, starting periodic command scheduler cron. Okay. So which means the script. Okay. So if you take the status now, so now it is showing cron is running. All right. So what is the time now? So it's 27 and I'm going to do cat amk backup dot logs. See at 27th minute, we got the cron. I mean, we got the backup. Let's wait for another minute and see uh, if the backup is coming. All right. Just, just, but just 30 more seconds. All right. So th this, that's all like uh, if you do this, uh, if you do this command, um, I mean, not that. So basically, start or restart also will work. All right. So if you do that, then automatically the cron job will be activated. So when we gave itself, it, this, this got added to the file, right? Earlier it was empty. I have shown it, right? Cat backup log, right? So now it's 28. Let's see it again. Right. So see. Again, another backup is done. So now the backups are automatically taken. All right. So thank you.